good people of YouTube. Um, so Sam just sent me an email and it looked pretty cool. I was like, you know what? Maybe I can try to like make something that kind of looks like that. But uh, let's see, let's see, let's let's see, let's see, let's see what I can do. Um, I'm gonna make a quick Unity project. Uh, let's make a uh, project, new project. Yeah, sure. Let's put it in here, not in Alien Explorer. We're just gonna put it uh, out in uh, our new project. Let's uh, my directory. Uh, new project, Sam Balls. Uh, let's try that. Called Sam Balls. My uh, my key is kind of stuck. All right, so uh, from what I see, I think there's like balls that are gonna be like spinning around. So. Uh, what I need is to make a first a ball. There it is. There's a ball. And we're gonna put it at zero, zero, zero. Actually, we're gonna put it at uh, uh, one. Now let me look at the top view here. Here we go. We're going to create some C sharp script. This is gonna be for the ball script. And this is gonna be, uh, we're gonna need to have a generator. Uh, the balls generator. Okay. Um, for the balls generator, I think I'm just gonna make an array of 20 balls. Uh, let's see, ball generator, here we go. So first thing, we're gonna need a public, it shouldn't take too long, uh, public game object ball. Right, and before we do anything, I'm gonna need to stick this script on something like, let's say, the camera. And um, for its public, I'm just gonna take this sphere right here. Sweet, um, okay, let's uh, go back in here. All I'm gonna want to do is pretty much uh, generate an array, as I was to say, four, not even an array, I'm just gonna generate them. Int x equals two. Two x is less than, I think there was like 20 in there. So there's already one, and then two to 19, that's gonna be 20. So let's plus, we're going to, oh, yeah. Uh, game object. Go. That's my private game object, and I'm gonna say um, go is equal to instantiate. What do we want? The ball. Where do we want it? Uh, new vector three. Vector three of x zero zero. Okay, and. Uh, Rotation, we're going to take quaternion identity. Okay. Oh, it doesn't like that. That's because we need to do it as, cast it as a game object. Here it is. Um, I need a semicolon here. Okay. Let's save. Let's see what this does. If I instantiate a bunch of balls. Come on, here they are. I think they had different colors. I'm not sure exactly what the color pattern was, but I could probably do something like um, like this geo that I have. I can do uh, a get component. Probably it's mesh renderer, mesh filter, mesh renderer. Get its material dot material dot color. And for now, I'm just gonna assign it a new color that I create on the fly, opacity one. I'm gonna do something like 0 0.2 times X, and I'm gonna do 0 0.1 times X. Why not? Oh, it wants floats, okay. Here's your float, buddy. 0.1 F, here you go. 
So now if I start, I should have an array of colored balls. Uh, they're they're kind of kind of colorful. Uh, maybe my directional light is uh, messing with it, eh, or not. Um, do I really want to mess with this any more than this? We have different colors. We're good. Um, okay, so ball script. Now this is going to be the the goodie. So this sphere is going to have this script and the ball script. I'm gonna guess what they did is uh, tr basically from as f depending on how far you are from the center, you rotate at a different speed. So uh, rotate around um, vector three dot zero, so around the zero axis, um, and rotate around vector three dot up. So the axis of rotation is a vertical pull, and I'm gonna say like 500 times time dot delta time divided by its transform dot position dot x. Okay, let's see what that does. Uh, that's not quite what oh I know I know what's happening I know what's happening so if we make this just let's say 10 so what is happening here is that oh, of course um, yeah basically as it's only getting its X's so that's not that's not um, that's not the right calculation here, because it looks. Yeah, see, as soon as it gets to, when, as soon as the x is negative, it gives it a negative speed. So it goes the other way. What we want is um, the speed is relative to um, a um, the distance from the center. So we have a float distance from center. Flowat, and that is going to be the so I need a, a vector three diff, which is going to be the difference between uh, vector three dot uh, zero and my transform dot position, which is also a vector, and uh, I'm gonna make this distance is now the magnitude of this vector. Okay, and we're going to divide by this instead. Okay, I think this is going to give us more or less what the video was like. Let's see. Yay! And that's pretty much, pretty much it. Do, 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 do. Now all I would need is a little trigger for whenever the balls hit the zero axis and trigger a sound. I ain't got time for that, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I got. Anyways, I uh, probably won't have much time to hang out the next couple weekends. Uh, things are getting a little uh, crazy. We're doing lots of shoppings and stuff for things. I don't want to say too much on the internet. Um, yeah, but, uh, we'll, I'll try to figure something out. All right. Till then. Peace out.